Oh man, that made me laugh. That made me laugh. That made me laugh. But God is good. Real quick, I'm not gonna say until I saw this video, I thought I was crazy, but I'm just saying dope energy understands dope energy. Like when somebody says something real and you not many people gonna get it, and it's dope to hear a woman say it, but it's just like when you realize when you hear certain people say stuff, you be like, Oh, I'm in the wrong intelligence bracket. That's what's going on here. That's why I seem like the people I'm around are just not for me. Respect, right? Wow. Everything she says is on point. You know what I'm saying there's there's nothing that I can knock. Everything was on point and it all made sense. And and when I say this is what I've been talking about. This is why I say know thyself. Because look, you'll get into a relationship and I know for sure God is not gonna have me confused like this. There's no way. I don't know about y'all, God, but I know God don't hate me that much. I'm not an evil person, so I know God don't hate me, right? Other than, other than that, it's lessons. You got to be willing to learn a lesson. If you're not willing to learn a lesson, you're never going to get past that trial. And that's just the truth of the situation. I'm going to tell you the easiest way, the easiest way to figure out if this person is a blessing or a lesson, Okay. You're not confused. Everything is just straight, straight shoot. You know what I mean? Like, you're not confused at all. This person is not confusing. They know what they want and all of that. Okay? It's good energy. It's like literally heaven sent. Like, God put this person in your life. Okay? However, if you are constantly doubting the person that you are with is supposed to be with you, everything is just confusing. They're compu a, a, a confusing person in, in general. They're not for you. That's going to turn into a lesson. And I promise you, because I'm speaking from experience, God is not a God of confusion. He's not. That comes from the enemy. I'm telling you, you're going to go through things, man. Run, run. Okay. Stop being confused in the Lulu. Listen to me. I'm telling Follow this creator. Dope message. Everything she said was on point. But man, understand what she's trying to say. You're going to have a feeling. If there's any confusion, that's what I'm saying. Like I even I, I hear this from the men. That was, I hear men speak about this all the time. You know, that's what I'm saying. I know I know the emotions and everything. I know how we perceive stuff as men and women is different. That's why I said first, you need to know thyself and do some healing. Cause some folk they don't they don't they don't be right in the head to be in a relationship because of the stuff that they be the stuff that some people be questioning or some of the stuff that y'all be doing and how y'all be moving, it's not even healthy in a relationship to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just got to check his phone. And that's what I'm just like. I get it. I get it. But if you, you know what I'm saying? If I'm in a, as a man, if I'm in a relationship where I feel like I got to check shorty phone, I don't want to be in that relationship. I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm one of those that I just rather be single. If I feel like I got to look over my shoulder every breath, I just rather be single. Now I'm just ranting. But God is going to tell you whether or not that person should stay in your life or not. And it's going to be linked to a bunch of confusion. You're not even going to know how to explain it. You're just going to be like, why do I feel like this? Am I going crazy? Was I wrong? What else can I work on? The funny thing is both sides can get this feeling. Understand both sides can get this feeling and then nobody make a move. How both sides feeling like this and nobody make a move? Y'all can just figure it out. No, God is trying to tell y'all y'all not supposed to be together. It should not be that much confusion in the relationship. Another thing. Going broke. If you got money and you know how to make money and you consistent with your money, but then you get with somebody and all of a sudden your bands is low, your money is gone, you trying to figure out how to make an extra lick or an extra play because of whoever you, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's an energy that's connected to you. You got to remove yourself. You know what I'm saying? It sucks. I know. I get it. It sucks. You got to remove yourself. You know what I'm saying? That, there goes another reason right there. I just She gave you one and that's probably the coldest one. I just hit you with another one. And it's so real. It's so real. Your money will vanish. You're trying to figure out where all your money vanishing to. It's the energy. It's the energy you decide to uh, attach yourself to. Unfortunately, God is good. I'm out. Comment, subscribe. Real quick, I had, I had deactivated my other TikTok. I really don't like TikTok that much. I just started a new one. Talking crazy on these apps. I don't say I, I can't do all of them. I don't say that's why I stick to kind of Facebook. Comment, subscribe.
main channel, Let Your Soul Speak, not TikTok, but YouTube and everything else. Uh, I'll leave the information in the, in the comments or whatever. Uh, God is good. I'm out.